Hello, hola, welcome back to Color in Canvas. Today we're going to be doing a stairway swipe, as I like to call it, where we swipe in opposite directions. But we're going to pivot a little bit with this one and do it a little bit differently. And I drew out a little plan here <laughs> of what I needed to do. Hopefully I can keep track of the colors. I'm making it a bit more complicated than it needs to be, but let's just get going and I'll tell you what we have as I'm putting it together. I'm just going to put my base coat down right now. Um, all of these paints, they're almost empty, so I've been doing good lately. Um, these are all mixed paints, mostly Arteza brand, a uh, little bit Liquitex Basics. I mix up the colors to the shade that I like, and then I add my pouring medium. It's approximately one part pouring medium, or sorry, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And the paint, uh, the pouring medium recipe, is 50% Floetrol, 30% Gluol, 20% water. So I'm going to put down a white base coat. This is mixed the exact same way as the colors are. And I'm going to spread it out, not all the way to the edges, because I'm leaving the edges empty to put our colors in. Hopefully I've put the right amount. I put the whole thing, oops, ah, see what happens when you don't move stuff. I put the whole thing on a turntable so that when I'm swiping in different directions, I'm right-handed and I have far more control going one way than I do it in other directions. So I'll be moving it as I work. It's easier if you have a if you're painting on a table that you can move around fabulous you know just do that but this table is long and the camera's on one side so that I can record what I'm doing so it's a little trickier for walking around the sides I may have more paint here than I want so I'm just gonna scrape up the excess and have it available I might put it back in my bottle if I don't need it. I don't want our base to be too, too thick here. And because I want the sides bare so that I can put our colors down, it's hard to know. I can't really pour it off or I'll mess up an entire side. That looks pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to be using these four colors for our experiment and a little bit of uh, DecoArt 24 karat gold that I've mixed with my pouring medium. And the color that we're going to be swiping with is black. So it's just my regular black paint. This is Arteza. And I'm going to pour it into my cup. Make a fair bit here, and then I'm going to add water to it because the thickness that it is for doing other kinds of pores is not the thickness that you want for a swipe. You want it to be quite thin. So I'm just going to put a few drops of water in here. I like using the squeeze bottle because I have real control over it. I'll give it a stir, see how thick it is, and then not quite thin enough. And depending on how big of a canvas you're using, when you try this technique, you'll have to adjust how much paint you use and how much water you put in, so till it's really drippy, till it does not leave a trace when it drizzles off. See that? It doesn't leave anything. It's dripping right back in, so that's thin enough for this purpose. All right, and now I will put my colors down. I have my little plan here, so here we go. I'm going to do yellow. I'm not doing the corners either. We're leaving the corners alone. I'm going to do some yellow. Green. And I'm just going to go halfway across here. Just to make it trickier. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Light blue, 
I should put a, I should have put a mark where halfway was. I'll overlap that a bit. That'll work okay for us. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is not a perfect painting, that's for sure. When we're swiping, all kinds of things are going to happen. And I'm going to do the alternate colors here. So I'll start with our dark blue. Our light. Our green. And our yellow. And that's all we need to get going. I'm going to move the paints over so that they're not in the way. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some 24 karat gold to each of these. So I'm just going to do a line across with each of them, just like that. I thought of doing a line all the way down, but I don't think I will. I think we'll, we'll let it fade out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to turn this and get our swipe sheet. It's just a piece of plastic. It came off a package of something and I like it, so I cut it and that's what we'll use. Okay, so left to right. I'm going to move my turntable down and then I can swipe and I'll start at the corner with our blue. Try and stay out of the gold, and we'll go all the way down. I forgot to grab a little piece of paper to wipe off my swipe sheet. I kind of like the way that looks. All right, then we'll swipe in the opposite direction through our yellow and gold. That looks really good. Take our light blue. Hmm, a little too much base coat. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to continue the experiment though. I want to see how it ends. <laughs> Even if it isn't going perfectly, I need to see because we're going to learn something from it. Yeah, there's way too much base coat. We'll deal with that later. We'll do our green. Our light blue. are we going to do with all that white? Decisions, decisions. We'll do our yellow. And our last swipe on this corner is our blue. looks really rich with all that gold in there. Interesting. Okay. Now we're going to pour our colors on that side and do the exact same thing, but the other way. We'll start with our dark blue. And I may just do smaller amounts and fill them in just so that we don't run out of space and overlap here. So our yellow goes here. We can fill in our green and our blue. Beauty. And then we'll go the opposite here. We'll start with our yellow.
bit of extra paint on here. Okay, and our gold running across like we did on the other side. And here we go. Let me get a fresh paper towel. We have a lot of paint. Okay, here we go. Start with our yellow. Try and stay out of the gold for the first swipe. And our blue. Our green. Our light blue. missed a spot. And we have a little feature there we weren't planning on. But I don't want to go over it. We have our last stripe, which is our yellow. Let's just see how that is. There's just a stripe in the middle now, which is kind of throwing me off. I hadn't planned on that part. So, shall we swipe through these? I think we will. Except that it's all white under there, so we won't. Do not know how I feel about it overall, to be quite honest. Let's finish off the corners with gold. And we'll just swipe whatever we have and pick up some gold. Might look better that way, and it does. Let's give it a torch. So yeah, it's very, very weird. 
think we have to swipe this. Maybe I'll oh, yeah, this matches that. No. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know if I like it or or not. Keep it scrape it, I have no idea. We're gonna play Let's Ask Judy if she's available. I'm gonna send this to my friend who will let me know what she thinks of it. So I just wrote to her, I'm having a little trouble with this painting, it's Confusion Corner. And now I've just named it, which is like too, too funny. Naming it Confusion Corner. And this, you know, there's not a ton of paint moving, so I honestly could leave it just like this and have it be a really abstract piece. I really think I might. Right here, though, it doesn't go straight, and I'm a little OCD about that, so... So I'm going to wreck it by trying to fix it, is what I'm going to do. I think we might have to leave that alone before we do something to it. Gosh, it looks amazing in the camera, let me tell you. <laughs> it looks amazing in the camera. Okay, I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it just the way that it is. And we'll come back and see the dried one at the end of the video. All right. Thanks for watching. And I hope you go paint something, have some fun, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.